What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we're sticking with Standard and we're playing one of my favorite cards ever. Uh, actually a lot of my favorite cards in Standard right now. So we're playing a Mirror March deck guys. We're doing it. Uh, this one, unlike every other Mirror March deck that I've ever played, only runs two copies of Mirror March, but uh, it's got a lot of really cool stuff in it. So this does live the dream of Mirror March plus Terror of the Peaks, which is really, really fun. Uh, it also runs Genesis Ultimatum to kind of get everything out super, super quickly. Um, obviously, we're lacking Grow Spiral in the format now, but we still have a lot of good ramp to help us get to all of this big stuff. So Leaf can Druid, obviously, just a little two mana zero three, but does play uh, into the Elementals theme with things like Omnath. Uh, so we can hopefully, you know, ping some stuff down and do some damage there. Uh, Risen Reef, obviously a fantastic card uh, for helping us get those lands out very, very early uh, and just getting so much value. This Risen Reef is insane, especially with Mirror March. Uh, Uro, uh, Titan of Nature's Wrath, obviously a great ramper. And then we actually have Rada as a one of in here. Uh, and I really love that. First of all, every time I say Rada, I think of Chowder. Uh, I don't know if anybody watched Chowder as a kid, but 100% that's what I think of. Regardless, um, I really, really like this. Uh, it allows you to play the lands from the top of your deck instead of in your hand. Uh, you can do both, but like it keeps you from having to use the lands in your hand uh, and, and play off the top to hopefully get to some of this big stuff really, really quick. Uh, we do have Solemn uh, as well, Sad Robot here to help us uh, fetch out some basic lands, which obviously we've got a number of. Uh, Cavalier of Thorns helps us pull out lands, and then of course Nissa helps ramp us as well. So lots and lots of ramp. Uh, we do have four Aether Gust in here as a way to deal with red and green stuff. There's a lot of the like mono green stompy or mono red aggro out there. Um, and so this does really, really help for that. Um, I will say a lot of the time, because this is such a proactive deck, it's a little bit tricky to leave up uh, Aether Gust unless you're going to shock yourself and kind of, kind of represent uh, a very clear Aether Gust. But um, we'll see if that comes in handy uh, throughout the, the course of these games. Um, and then, like I said, all the big stuff here, we've got Terror of the Peaks, we've got, uh, obviously, Mirror March that can be hit with Genesis Ultimatum, Nyssa, Cavalier of Thorns, and then Ugin, uh, and even Omnath, too, uh, can really do a lot. So Ugin's really our big, big finisher here. Uh, uh, crazy, crazy good. Seven loyalty for eight mana, uh, plus two deals three to any target. Uh, you can minus X and exile each permanent with converted mana cost X or less, but that's one or more colors. Uh, and then if you can minus 10, you get seven life, draw seven cards, and put seven permanents from your hand onto the battlefield, uh, which turns out it's very good. Um, this is also a Yorian deck, uh, so obviously we are running 80 cards. Um, Yorian is very, very good in a deck like this. If we can get some of these really good permanents out that all have just triggered abilities, uh, this really gives us a strong activation uh, to be able to get all that stuff out. Most often, we probably won't end up playing Yorian, but uh, it's a nice kind of tech option to have uh, along this li these lines. Uh, we do have 39 land in here. I am not going to go through every single one, but you can kind of see what we're working with here. Uh, and if you want to check the, the description out, we've got it there. This deck did come with a sideboard that we're not using, uh, for the record. We're doing best of one, as we always do. So that's the deck. Uh, it's really sweet. I really like it. I have been playtesting it, uh, and it is you know, slightly hit or miss, but, um, it does a decent job. Uh, it's, it's not the most consistent thing in the world, but, uh, because it has so much just decent ramp, you, you can generally at least get somewhere with it. Um, now that being said, I was against a couple of aggro decks. I was able to handle it, but, uh, not every single one of the, the matches went my way. So, uh, we will figure it out as we go. This is kind of a crap hand. Um, if we have a green source, which we do have a scry, we can do it, but I'm going to mulligan that. This is much, much better. My goodness, this is much better. Um, I'm actually just going to put the basic forest back. Um, we are going to probably shock ourselves here, but like this is a, a phenomenal starting hand. It looks like an aggro deck, uh, so we are going to have to do the best we can to make sure we get somewhere quickly uh, with this list. Um... Thankfully, we do have things like Cavalier of Thorns that has reach, so it's pretty easy to block these things, but obviously we have to get there first, so hopefully we can. Um, perfect. Let's just do this. Let's Risen Reef first. Get this bad boy out there. Uh, didn't get a land, but that's actually fine. A second Uro. Can't be too upset about that. Uh, next turn, we can Risen Reef again, um, which is just so good. 
yeah, taking some hits. That's fine. Um, let's Risen Reef first, and let's see what happens. Obviously, two activations here. That's great. Perfect. Got to land. Um, we'll go ahead and play this out here, uh, and we will pass. So... We're pretty well set up at this point. I mean, this is what we're looking to do. We've got the Genesis Ultimatum in hand. We are going to take some hits here, um, which doesn't feel great, but uh, we can ideally get two Uros off this coming turn, gain some of this life back, um, and then the following turn we'll have Genesis Ultimatum to really, really kind of pin things down here. Uh, so first things first, let's go ahead and Uro first, uh, see what we get. <coughs> Perfect. Okay. Uh, we can go ahead and pay two here because we do need to. Um, let's get this out. Uh, don't like paying the two here, but obviously kind of a necessary evil. Um, and then this, of course, we're going to get another three life and another land down. So now we are officially easily set up for a very good Genesis ultimatum, hopefully next turn. Uh, we'll see, obviously, what we get, but we're, we're doing all right. Uh, taking a big hit here, of course. Um, and that's fine. Worst things have happened, but, um, I do think what we ought to do is, uh, just block here. Um, keep ourselves alive a little bit. That would have put us down very badly, uh, and so I don't think it's worth it to, to take that hit. Um, but we've got plenty of options here, of course, so not too worried about that. Let's, let's just go ahead and Genesis Ultimatum. Hopefully we get some good stuff. Oh. <laughs> And good stuff we found. Um, yep. Pretty good. Um, okay, so it's not amazing, but we do get to... <laughs> well, okay, I guess they just gave up. Um, we could have minus, I guess, and just exiled everything. That would have been so much better, but they gave up anyway. Um, I was, I was going to plus up. I had already plussed up. That was technically a misplay, but that's fine. Uh, all right, well... That's what we're looking to do. Let's jump into uh, game two and see if we can do it again. Uh, you can see how important things like Uro are uh, in that they, they gain us that life and keep us kind of in the game. Um, and then just having small creatures like Leafkin Druids, but uh, also Risen Reef, things like that, to help us kind of block and stay alive in the early turns is really crucial. Um, I don't think we keep this. Uh, if we had anything like okay this is much more of a keep because we of course have our ramper here so let's keep six <sighs> hmm i'm actually gonna throw this on the bottom and uh we'll see how this works out it'd be great to get an early terror down uh because then we can just handle a lot of the uh the creatures that they play hello friend um I really like this deck though um all right so let's let's just do this first let's get this out there chances are they're gonna be able to kill this and that's fine we've now got a backup play so i don't feel terrible about that um and looks like not it looks like we're just against winota um and winota is very very good so we are gonna have to uh to get something going pretty quickly here thankfully this doesn't hit anything um Non-creature, non-land. Obviously, they don't have that option, so perfectly fine with that. Next turn, we get to play Rada out. Obviously, just going to block one. All right, so um, what's the play? Uh, let's do this, and let's do this. I don't know how great that was, to be honest, but I'd like to be able to leave up two blockers here, uh, just in case. I don't really know what all they may have, but yeah. So we do want to leave up as much as possible, so I'm glad we did that. Um, okay. It's pretty good. It's very good, in fact. That's definitely dying. Oh, no. This has to die, doesn't it? It's indestructible until the end of the turn, which means it's actually not worth it to block it. So it's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. All right. Um, well, I don't want to shock myself, but I kind of think I have to. Um, and we may just end up losing here, to be honest. I mean, they've got plenty of firepower out on the field. Um, 
granted, you know, next turn, if we survive, we've got terror to kind of just start knocking stuff down, but uh, we kind of need some life gain because this Judith is, is clearly a problem. Um, no doubt about that. Sure. It's great. <laughs> Selfless savior. Yeah, I think they just are gonna are gonna win it here. Um, there's very little we can truly do. Are you, are you just attacking with this? I guess that works, right? Oh, and this. Another Judith. Okay. Well. Yep. Um. So. It means we kind of have to, we just literally have to block like like this, don't we? Um, I guess we don't, right? This can block here and this can block here. That's better. It's not great, but they get to, yeah, do this and then peg us for a, a damage here. Um, and with Judith, they can actually just kill us now. They missed lethal. With Judith out, they kill us. They just get to to do whatever they want here. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and concede. Um, they're not seeing it, but all they gotta do is attack in. Um, they could have just sacked with the Woe Strider and killed us. Uh, that seems kind of silly that they gave us another turn. That's fine. Let's jump into our last game. Wow, we're only at a, like 12 minutes. That's not bad. Kind of thought it'd take a, a little longer with this tech, but I like this one. I do really like this deck. I think it's fun. Um, it's not perfect, and that's fine. Uh, but it does a lot of the stuff that I love in Standard, which is stupid stuff. So, <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Uh, this is a great hand. Uh, got a nice little Leafkin Druid into either one of these, uh, depending on, you know, how things play out. Um, but I like this a lot. Interesting. Okay. Not sure what that indicates, to be honest. Um... Temple of Plenty, maybe just an enchantments list. <coughs> sure. Yeah, looks like an enchantments list. Uh, this deck is sweet. These uh, enchantment based decks are really, really good. So we'll do the best we can to uh, to stay alive. Um, I think that makes me want to put Solemn out if I can. Uh, just because one, it's going to get a land down, but two, it provides us with a very easy chump blocker uh, that I just don't care about losing. Uh, to be honest. The other option, though, here, to be honest, um, because they didn't actually do anything, maybe we just play Uro. Let's not take two. Let's just play Uro. Let's play this guy out there. Let's get Temple down. Do we keep Uro? Um, I'm going to say yes, but that might be incorrect. I I'm, I'm not sure about that one, um, but that's what we're going to do. You got it. Ginger Brute. Uh, so my, the, this deck tends to just peg a bunch of stuff onto Ginger Brute, and that's it. Um, it's very good, for sure. Uh, Ugin might be able to handle it if we can get that quick enough, but I kind of doubt it. Um, we don't, we don't have anywhere near enough mana. Well, actually, we're not far off, but we don't have quite enough. Um, and eventually, with the enchantments on this, it's just going to get out of hand, so... There's not going to be much we can do about it. Um, okay. So. Nissa seems like a decent option. Plus Nissa. Let's do this. Um, we're going to pay two here. And we're going to play Rada. Um, just trying to get some stuff out here, to be honest. Uh, it's. It's great to be able to get a bunch of uh, these little guys off. So now, you know, we draw Aether Gust. Obviously, that doesn't really help us very much. But uh, if there's a land underneath, we actually just get to play it with Rada. And now we've got enough mana to get Ugin out, like, super easy. Um, they are going to be... Ooh, sorry for the dog barking. Uh, they are going to be able to, to get a nice swing in here, whether that's at Nyssa or me. Um, but that's fine. Sure. And this is the cool part about this deck, is it just cycles so well. Uh, it's it's a very good deck, for sure. 
Um, good news is all these little one mana enchantments do uh, just get killed by Ugin. Uh, so kind of in for it. Sure. That's fine. They might be, um, they could just straight kill Nissa here. We'll see. My lovely fiance just brought me a coat because she's a sweetheart and I love her. Mm -mm. Oh, no, that's Diet Coke. Just kidding. <laughs> um, all right. Okay, she, she's here. She's in the background and she's handing me the right Coke and I appreciate her. Okay, so uh, perfect. Um, well, we don't have Nissa anymore, so that kind of sucks. But uh, let's see. If we do this... I actually don't want to really shuffle away this Genesis Ultimatum, do I? So let's see what happens. We get to draw a card here. Uh, gain three. Okay. Don't have a land. That kind of sucks. Um, we can't really do too much then. Um, I was kind of hoping for a land in the top there, so then we could get... Um, you know, between these four and hopefully an untapped lamb, we could have gotten Solemn out. Didn't happen. It's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna retract. We're gonna keep doing it. Um, okay. Hmm. Definitely not in a great spot here though, because they're just really gonna start cycling this stuff away. I guess we could like aether guess one of these but doesn't seem all that great now they've got protection um if we get ugin down we can still kind of get them but uh we gotta also not die this turn so that's pretty crucial huh uh yeah we got it Gonna take 10. I'm just gonna do this for the sake of doing this, I think. Not much we can do about it. Let's just do it now. Mm -mm. Probably should have done it prior. I just, yeah, it doesn't matter. They're gonna give it protection, really? That seems aggressive, but sure. Um, oh, we do get to block it, don't we? Uh, I don't particularly care to, though. We're just going to take 10. Yep. Uh, that's nice that... Except by creatures with haste. Ah, duh, of course. Um, alright, well... <sighs> we really, really need lands. Um, let's throw this out there. There's also just a strong card, so like there's there's reasons to want to get this out, but uh, we are very much in bad shape, no doubt. Wow, the first land in the... <laughs> okay. Oh, done. Yes, keep that on top. Play it. All right. There may be a shot here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> we need an untapped land there. Um, hmm. Because we're gonna have to block. Uh, there's no way we can't. Um, so that means we're gonna lose this. <sighs> hmm. Oh, they've got two ginger brutes. Oh, good. How great. How lovely. Fantastic. Um, yeah, we're probably dead. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, I guess we could Genesis Ultimatum if we make it. Do we have the lands? Yeah, we got the lands. I mean, we have to. I think they didn't know that I could block here. It does have haste. Yeah, okay. 
We have to, though. If they had any kind of pump spell, there's plenty of options in this deck, so I'm not trying to not trying to die for something like that. Um, Alright. Well, here's to hoping. We could Genesis hoping we get Ugin off the, the top here. Um, that is an option as well. Uh, oh, or... Or we can just Ugin. Um, yep, that's gonna do it. Get that bad boy out there. Uh, do this. <laughs> uh, I guess we hit for two, right? And this is exile, so like indestructible doesn't really do anything. We may have tilted them as well. This is one heck of a tilt. <laughs> Um, we hit for two so we can get the Seasons of Growth, by the way. It does get our Leafkin Druid, but hitting one, two, three, nine things <laughs> for that price seems pretty good. Um, Alright, well, there you go. They're probably going to be able to kill Ugin. Um, fully believe that they'd be able to. Uh, do we attack? I don't think so. We're going to make them spend the two if they want to make these unblockable. Both of them. They probably won't, but, like, we're going to make it. Make it happen. Um, and they've got a ton of cards in hand. So worth noting that, like, they've got plenty of mana. They've got plenty of stuff here. But we did set ourselves up to the best of our ability to get rid of as much as we could. Uh, and worth noting, because these exile, these like sentinel's eyes and stuff like that are just gone. And that is phenomenal. Um, so we'll we'll see what they do. Uh, next turn we Genesis Ultimatum, hopefully hitting a lot of really good stuff. And then we're in great shape for the rest of the game. Um, but that's certainly going to be a... Uh, a interesting play. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay. That's very good. Uh, it just means that like Rada can't block it. All right. So we're dealing three here. We got to get rid of that. No doubt about it. Ooh, yes. Terror of the Peaks. Look at that. You love to see it. Terror of the Peaks. Genesis Ultimate. Hmm. Hmm. Guys, this is great. Uh, interesting that they just played a giant stone coil serpent, but I guess that works. Um, done. Get it. Get it out of there. All right. Let's Genesis Ultimatum. Three, four, five. Uh, Inner's tapped. That's fine. All right. Um, this this yeah we're gonna get rid of that seems good and now we have another genesis ultimatum uh hey, hey and some lands so that's good take that action okay uh yeah just do that that's fine get a nice little scry going uh we'll actually uh, we'll keep that. That's some life gain, and that's pretty crucial in this position, so I'm kind of fine with that. Oh, smooth. Yeah, they got it. Um, we'll just play this out. Um, Rada's not doing too much elsewhere, so let's just go ahead and do this. All right. Um, good news, at least, we do have blockers for this, but they can peg it up with some, some really good stuff, I'm sure. Hmm. Make that unblockable, that's good. Okay. Okay. Hit us for eight. Are they gonna do the thing? Yes. Okay. Sure. So we can't block it. Pretty good. 
very good, in fact. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. So let's do this first. Steal six. See what they do. Uh, we'll put that out. That's fine. Our row is just like stupid good, by the way. Um, and honestly, I don't even think Genesis Ultimatum is to play. I think it's actually just playing Uro. I think this is the right one. Four, five. There it is. All right. Guys, we got there. This deck is sweet. Um, okay. Uh, so obviously this deck is looking to go over the top. It works pretty reliably. Um, it's not perfect, uh, obviously against aggro decks. And even in that matchup, it was a bit close, but, um, we made it happen. So I like that. Well, um, We'll, of course, jump into a second video, so you'll see uh, three more games with this one, but I'm really loving it. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I will, uh, I'll see you for part two. Thank you so much for watching.